My name is Ryan Levi Plu. We're here at WJ Titan, and this is In the Lab. So today we're gonna to discuss the TP20 probing system and how we use it in the lab and how it affects our measurements. So the TP20 measurement system is a pretty common probing system used in the market. It's very robust, it's very versatile, but there are certain limitations with the equipment. One of the biggest limitations with the equipment is inherently, it'll only measure in five axes, it doesn't measure in six. Now what that means is it'll measure an X, Y, positive and negative, and it'll measure Z negative, but inherently it won't measure Z positive. So what that makes us do is we have to actually have a special TP20 module called a six-way module, and that allows us to measure in the Z positive. Now the reason why that's important is, is by default a six-way module will only hold a certain stylus length or weight without causing variability in measurement or false hits. Now we discussed the word module, now I'm, I'm gonna really talk about what that means. So the module on the TP20 body is the magnetic part that comes off and on. Now they're all color banded, and the color bands mean different things. Anything from a low force module to a medium, to a standard force module, to an extended force module. Now what that means to you is, a low force module has the lowest triggering force when operating the stylus. But that also means it's the most sensitive. It won't operate with a six by 100 stylus on it without getting false hits or errors through movement because of the vibration affecting the module. Conversely, the extended force module is designed to operate your really long and heavy styluses. Now, when you move away from a low force module, you're gonna start having an impact on accuracy due to the trigger force nature of a module. As an example, the pre-travel variation on a low force module is just under a total band of a micron. However, an extended force module will have a pre-travel variation of up to four microns total plus a, or plus or minus two. The reason why that's important is because of tight tolerances, fine features, you don't want to eat up a tolerance of six microns with your four micron variability total of measurement with an extended force module. Now low force modules are important when you're trying to use a very small stylus. When you start getting down to like your 0.5s, your 0.7s, your 0.3 microns, and now you can even get some 0.2 and some 0.25 micron styluses, you want to use that low force module because it allow the trigger force to kick in before the stylus gets bent and or potentially snaps. Low force modules are also nice when you have parts that aren't as rigid as steel, such as rubber or some polymers. Now the standard module for use is your standard force module. Eh, kind of a weird name, right? But some people don't realize that the medium force module actually overlap with it a little bit and they're pretty interchangeable. Now that's a brief rundown of the TP20 module system offered by Renishaw. There are other probing bodies out there Hexagon has their own, Renishaw has their own, and there are a couple other companies offering their own. And my encouragement to you is to just do your research on what limitations are available and what accuracies are available. Again, my name is Ryan Levi Plu. We're here at WJ Titan, and this is In The Lab. If you guys have any questions or want to start a conversation, please drop a comment below, or don't be afraid to reach out to me or my other members in the lab.